Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space. And this is Dinagan. Today in this video, we are going to see a web scrapping using UiPath and how that the data from multiple pages can be extracted and stored it into Excel. So without getting detail, let's jump back to today's video. So to perform a data extraction from web page, you should you should be able to do like uh, the web scrapping or web recording based on the need or based on the business requirement. But here in this video, I just wanted to show you a like data scrapping method where we will be able to extract a data table from multiple pages and how UiPath like efficiently extracts the data and stored it in the form of a data table, which later can be write like taken into an Excel file and uh, we'll be able to write and show the results as well. So in case if you are new and uh, or if you want to compare yourself and your code with different other RPA tools like UiPath, Duprism and Power Automate, I will give you a card on the top right. You can check out our videos because I've just used the same set of activity or same set of use case, which is uh, for both all the three tools, UiPath, Duprism and Power Automate. And you can have a look and based on that, we will be able to see how efficiently the result is getting produced, uh, like in from each and every tool. Yeah. Right. So what are the steps basically, which we need? Uh, we need open browser activity from activity Spain from UI path and then use data scrapping, uh, like, uh, which is available. And at the end of the result will be data table as a collection. And your data table uh, can be stored uh, either it can be a data table itself or it can be stored into Excel for your uh, future references and output. So what all activities you need and how do you find this activity? So either you can go to search pan and type open browser or you can go to UI automation under browser under open browser, you will be able to find open browser and Excel activities will be under Excel application scope, which you can be able to find it out. Right. So without getting uh, further delay, we'll see the practical sessions, how the same thing of uh, which I've explained uh, can be using uh, UI path. So this is the data table, which I just wanted to extract the data, which just contains six pages and out of that 57 entries are there. So our automation now it's going to do is like it will go to this page, extracts the data and write the data into Excel, <clears throat> right? That's what the complete uh, use case is what we are going to see now, right? So like for that, what uh, we need to do, as I said, just go ahead and type open as like in, in activity span, or you just go to uh, like uh, UI automation under browser under open browser can be found, right? So either you can just go ahead and type your URL as it is, uh, or you can create a variable, which is under variable section, just go ahead and create a variable as URL and uh, you could still pass the URL uh, directly here without even hard coding it. So that's that's like both the way is possible. So you can just go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and once this URL has been launched, right? So we had to do data extractions is what uh, we uh, are going to do now. Uh, so that for data extraction, you just have to click data extraction, the extraction results will get open. And in your uh, application, you had to like scan which thing you want to extract. So if you scan on one of your elements, it will say you have selected a data table. Would you like to extract the whole table? Let to give S and the sample of data from this web page will be visible for you in extract data table in UI path. So to extract all the data, you have to give zero for the result. And you have to click finish. As soon as you click finish to navigate to multiple pages, it will ask you to get the indicator. So you have to use like uh, indicator yes and uh, figure out this next button so that like uh, our uh, uh, automation will be capable enough to go till to the end of the page and extract all the data and those data will be stored in the form of a data table under uh, <clears throat> extract data table which is a default name you can rename it but right now i've just left it as it is as a, a, a like a, a extract data table only so, so far what we've did, we've opened a browser, we've uh, navigated to the page and we've extracted the data and that's stored in the form of a data table. Now I just want to write those content into my Excel file. 
So either you can just directly go ahead and pick if you have some existing files or else like uh, you can create a new workbook also and store that using save as right so that can be also possible. And I have already an Excel file on which I just wanted to write it so like I've just used Excel scope to open an Excel and then I'll be using write. So the right range will be having two set of activities. One I'm using uh, under Excel application scope, but you do have option for Excel workbook also. You can directly go ahead and uh, use this right range activity, which will still do the same uh, actions or same uh, activity what we are currently doing. Right. So we can see that extract data table is going to be the input and where we are going to write it, we are going to write it in sheet one. And uh, which is your cell reference? It's A1. And uh, I just mentioned here as add header because I just want to include the header of uh, the content which is there in the data table. So this name, position, and other things had to be there as a header in my Excel file. And uh, probably, yeah. So that's all what we need to do uh, with our uh, uh, data scrapping and writing the data back to Excel worksheet. And in case if you have any questions, just let me know. We'll, uh, you can comment it below, we can address that as well. Right, so we'll just quickly go ahead and run this automation and see how this is being performed, whether the expected result is stored or not. And in case if there is any issues, we could uh, just try to rectify that. So you can see the web page is opened and as soon as the web page opened, your uh, UI path is uh, navigating to next next pages, right? So it's there in four, five, and then go to the sixth page. And your automation uh, found that there is no other pages exist. So it will go to Excel application, and then it will write the data to the Excel. Once it is completed, it will be able to stop the complete process, right? So let's see, it's still extracting the data and. Uh, It extracted the data, writing the data back to collect Excel uh, sheet and the automation completes. Now we'll go back to the Excel what we need and uh, this is what the Excel which we had, right? <clears throat> so if you go on top and you could see like we have a label and it's been nicely put down all the text. But if you have a look at the same thing in Power Automate, you could see like at the end of every page, the label is getting repeatedly added. So that's not smart or intelligent as what we have in UiPath. But again, as I said, it's like, it depends on each and every tool and its own nuances. It cannot be compared with uh, uh, the other tools, but as we take the same example between all the other tools, so I just wanted to show that uh, differences, but if you are curious to know how the same thing happened, as I said, we have given you a card or we, you could surf through our channel. The same exercise has been worked out with Duplism, UiPath and Power Automate. And uh, probably post the session, I'll uh, share the XAML file with you. You can just download it and paste it into your work, uh, worksheet and uh, X practice as well. So that's all I want to cover it in this session. In case if you have any questions, just do comment it below. We'll try to address it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.